Adventures Muses, I'm Erica papillon Posey, and welcome to another episode of Suits Souls by EPP, where I inspire you with timeless, classic, prim looks from my boudoir. And as always, please hang out until the end for the mini photo shoot that I provide for you at the conclusion of every episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be styling four looks for you, all in visceral shades of pink and gold. Now, why visceral? Because instinctively, you feel something and you think of something whenever the color pink is presented to you and the color gold. Pink in particular, because you actually think of girls, right? You think of softness, you think of um, warmth, you think of serenity, you think of comfort, right? Where gold is concerned, you think of generosity, you think of fortune, you think of wealth, you think of divinity, you think of power, and you think of religion, right? Now, where pink is concerned, the concept of pink didn't come about until 800 BC, and it was actually coined by Homer from the Odyssey, again, 800 BC. But as a color concept, it came about in the 17th century, 17th century, and it was uh, uh, coined a color by a Greek uh, botanist who actually named it so because of the ridges on a carnation. Now, if you look at a carnation, the ridges of the carnation are like this ragged zigzag pattern. So when you think of the term like pinking shears, how are pinking shears created? There's like this rigid, ragged, zigzag pattern in pinking shears, right? Well, that is where the term came from because of the pattern associated with the ridges of a carnation, right? Isn't that something special? And then in the 18th century, pink was actually a color that was more associated and worn by the aristocracy of the time. It was associated with luxury and class. And you would never see it amongst the, you know, normal working folks, the peasants and what have you. But again, it was a color that was really exclusive to the wealthy and the aristocracy of the day, kings and queens and what have you. And, you know, the wealthy um, and also where pink is concerned, not until the 1920s, moving into the mid 20th century and late 20th century, did we start to normalize pink as a color for girls because it was actually more of a pink associate, uh, more of a color associated with boys. Can you believe that? I was so surprised to find that out myself. But yeah, about the, hmm, the 1920s, did we start moving into normalizing pink as a color for girls? Lots of fun facts about the color pink, right? But when you think of pink, you think of warmth. Yeah, you think of um, just comfort and serenity and uh, wellness, right? In addition to a girl. But where gold is concerned, gold, again, it gives you some kind of visceral imagery because you're generally thinking gold, uh, uh, tr you attribute it to um, generosity, to fortune, to wealth, um, to um, divinity, right? As lots of, of religions uh, use the color gold in some um, form of their doctrine, um, they associate it with whatever their color patterns and schemes are with that particular church, like purple, purple and gold are, are colors that are often used where divinity is concerned and when invoking power, where religions are concerned. But as an element, you've always thought of gold in terms of it being, you know, fortune and wealth, right? I don't know why generosity so much, maybe in terms of because it's associated with money, um, but in terms of a color, those are the kinds of feelings that the color gold uh, um, invokes, evokes when you think about it or when you see someone in it. So I wanted to present to you today those uh, style inspirations featuring the colors of pink and gold. First look, first look. I started with this suit from Zara. It is really a muted matte color. Yeah, muted matte gold and pink. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And doesn't it really evoke those feelings of warmth and tenderness, 
right? Just comfort and something regal as well. Look at these matching trousers. Now I've had this suit in my closet, I think about six, seven years or so. And as I said, it is a Zara suit. I actually had my daughter taper the back of the suit for me because I didn't want it to be boxy. I wanted it to give me a silhouette instead of that boxy look. But isn't she beautiful? As you can tell from the video here, I paired it with this suit with the top that I'm actually wearing, this button down here from H&M. And as you know, H&M is really one of those go-to places if you wanna get basic button downs at a very economical price. Like this button down, I have about six of these in varying shades and prints, um, specifically from H&M. And I don't know if you can tell, but this one actually is a pink and white pinstripe. Very soft, subtle pink, right? And I love this uh, button down because it actually does the V and tapers here before you actually start to button here. And these, these button downs, these are staples in H&M's uh, wardrobe offerings. Season in, season out, they offer these kinds of button downs. And I just love them. Again, they're so economical. Uh, when I say economical, you can get them any place. If they're like on um, clearance, which they often are, uh, seasonally. Uh, I've gotten them as cheap as $6.99, $5.99 before, but I've never seen them more expensive than like $20 or so. So yes, I thought it was a great juxtaposition against this, uh, the backdrop of this pattern on the suit here to give it some, again, some difference, some dichotomy when going with this pinstripe, this pink and white pinstripe button down against this beautiful, just sumptuous, gold and pink feature on this suit, this pattern. Just beautiful, right? And then what did I pair with it? In terms of heels, I went with these Badgley Mishkas. Look at these, look at here, look at here, look at here. You remember in my shoe haul vi video, I think it was my first shoe haul video. If you go to my playlist, you'll find it there. But I have another pair like this that I featured in uh, that shoe haul video. And these are absolutely striking. Talk about visceral. Does this satin pattern not speak royalty, luxury, and class? Now, what really sets it apart in terms of luxury and class and elevation is this beautifully adorned rhinestone here. Look at this baby. This rhinestone brooch here on, a, and it's already affixed to the shoe. But Badgley Mishka is known for that. I told you I have a lot of Badgley Mishka in my shoe uh, closet because I have always worn them for the stage because they are so stunning and elevated and sophisticated and screams luxury and um, really like you've arrived, right? Royalty. I always feel royal when I wear these and the others as well. Any of my Badgley Mishka. I don't know why people don't wear, wear Badgley Mishka more because of the quality and craftsmanship that they put into their shoes. Now, specifically what I mean by that, all of the um, heels of their, um, the soles of their shoes are also leather. Uh, just stunning, right? Aren't these absolutely striking? And this is only a three inch heel, so they're super easy to walk in. And as you might imagine, yes, they are all satin on the, um, the material here, but also the inside is completely and utterly lined, uh, the inside of the footbed with leather. Badgley Mishka. I love these, right? And I just married this entire look with my clutch in a clutch because this clutch always comes in handy for me. It always comes through in a clutch when I am having difficulty styling something where I need a gold clutch. Now, I recently found, found a new one, so I'm going to show that one to you soon. But yes, I thought this was just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was look number one. I hope you love that look as much as I love styling it because I really did feel elevated and royal in that suit. I love that look. Look number two. Look number two, I went with 
What did I tell you about a great, a good old slip dress, right? Now, isn't this dress the exact same color, almost the same color as the Badgerly Mishka shoe I just showed to you, right? This is just a basic, basic, basic uh, slip dress that I purchased at ASOS. ASOS has really great prices on slip dresses. You can get uh, slip dresses at great prices pretty much anywhere, right? But the thing that really did this look and really um, pulled this look together is this Christian Lacroix, Christian Lacroix jacket. It's this boucle jacket that I purchased from Marshalls. What did I tell you? Marshalls is my go-to place. Don't sleep on Marshalls. The thing that is fabulous about this jacket is the button detailing on it. Really, the button detailing. And again, it is sleeveless, right? As you can tell, super cute, very weighty. The construction is outstanding. Again, this is by Christian, completely lined by Christian Lacroix. Now, the thing that I styled that I think was the piece de resistance of this look, right? I recently found this bracelet at Zara. And you know, I love a great statement piece. And I was like, the skies opened and the seas parted when I saw this bracelet. Pow. Does this not scream royalty, grandeur, right? Magnanimity. What? And yes, this is actually a shell that has been affixed to this gold uh, hammered bracelet. Just fantastic. How grand is this? Beautiful. So I actually did this bracelet with, of course, I have a new bag for you. So the bag that I went with, right? And it's, she is all leather. I'm going to link this for you. I actually have this one in black as well. And I got them in two different places. The I think I told you the Gilt website is where I purchased the first one in black with the same um, gold ball detailing um, on the handle. But they are 100% leather. It's a lambskin leather. But you're not going to believe I purchased this one at Amazon. Now, the black one that I purchased, I purchased, again, at guilt.com for 100 bucks. Baby, this one is at Amazon for half the price. Yes, I'm going to link it for you. You're going to want these. Super cute for summer, right? Get ready. Again, the leather is just so soft and sumptuous and supple. It's a lambskin leather from Amazon. Look, come on now. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful. And of course, I went with my Michael Kors Martinez with the platform, right? Wasn't that a beautiful look? All highlighting that pink, satin pink slip dress. Just gorgeous. I really love that look as well. All of the looks that I did today were really just did it for me. I really did feel something. Again, the word that I used for, for you initially at the inset, the onset of this episode was visceral because you instinctively feel something when you see the color pink and you, there's some kind of imagery that is invoked in your head when you see the colors because they just, ah, uh, what's not to love about pink? And there's so many varying shades of pink. Come on, red and white make pink and so many variations in between. Just a fabulous color. Look number three. Let's see, that was everything, right? Look number three. Look number three, We're going, we went lounge on you. We went lounge on you. Look at these trousers and look at the detailing on the bottom of the trousers, the roping there at the bottom of these bell-bottom trousers that cinch in the waist. Again, it's a lounge set. And the matching, let me see here, the matching top here. Yeah, when I say lounge set, uh, it was actually sold as a, or a build, uh, described as a lounge set. But I really do think it's more like a pajama, satin pajama set. But yes, I would absolutely wear this um, out. Uh, I have worn it out, actually. I've worn this one out um, before in public. You bet I did. And look at all, again, all of this um, 
uh, piping that is uh, detailed on the trouser is um, detailed here on the top as well. Again, with these just wide three quarter billowy sleeves. It feels so fantastic on the skin, just wonderful. With this floral print, this pink and gold floral print in it, just so soft. Yes, does this not scream luxurious and comfort, right? Sumptuousness. And what a beautiful, vibrant color and shade of uh, gold. Just beautiful against this muted matte, almost mauve color of pink. Beautiful. To go over this look, I did. I went with this H&M car coat. This H&M car coat with this gold detailing uh, for the zipper. Uh, so it actually has zippers here uh, above the pockets, each of the pocket area. And then the zipper itself here, but just a beautiful um, car coat here. I love this look and it really does accentuate and bring out the um, matte muted pink in the lounge set, right? Just gorgeous together. So soft, so soft and sweet. Um, serenity, center serenity. That's the word that I'm looking for. The color pink really makes me feel a, a sense of serenity and wellness. Beautiful. So with that look, I went with, come on now, you've seen these one other time. My Jeffrey Campbell with this beautiful, adorned with this beautiful uh, floral uh, detailing on top of this generous, substantial platform blocked heel sandal, satin, again, in all satin. We really did go to the depths, or should I say the heights of luxury for you today, right? Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now with this uh, look, the bag that I went with, and I actually paired some sunnies with these. These also are, um, a pink tint to them. Can you see that there? There's a pink tint. I will link them for you as these are from Amazon as well. But I went with this bag. This is another one of my Alberta Di Cano. Alberta Di Cano. Remember the Italian designer that I was telling you about? And I have about six of her bags. Um, of course, this is a take a dupe on a Celine bag but for a fraction of the price, but all leather, all leather. The construction is bar none, phenomenal, fabulous construction and craftsmanship. I've had this bag about 12 years. Again, Alberta Di Cano, uh, just a fabulous Italian uh, handbag designer, right? Beautiful. Again, I purchased this in Italy, in um, Florence, Firenze, right? Did I tell you that I am headed to um, Italy this summer? I have some special stuff that I'm doing there this summer, and I can't wait to share it with you. And of course, you know I'm coming back with some of these handbags, right? I cannot go to Italy and not bring a handbag or two home. So I can't wait to see what their offerings are now. It's been, I didn't go during COVID at all. Um, I was in the south of France, as I said, in all of 2022, and then I didn't go to Italy last year. So it's been about four years since I've set foot in Italy, and I'm screaming my name. I can't wait to get back and see her so that I can get some more pan, uh, handbags. And I say see her because in uh, Italian, anything that ends in A is feminine. Anything that ends in O is masculine. And the word Italy is actually Italia. It ends in A, so she's feminine, right? And anything that ends in I, just for reference, is plural. So when you say to someone, hmm, when you say to someone in, a, in the audience, when they've done something, a performer that you like, that you want to um, uh, give attention to, and you want to show your appreciation for how well that artist has performed, traditionally you, you scream, bravo, bravo, bravo. But it is a, if it's a female performing, you will say brava. You would not say bravo to a female and uh, vice versa. You wouldn't say brava to a male. But everything, we defer to the masculine. We defer to the masculine, which is not a good thing. So if it's a female, brava. If it's a male, bravo. If it's plural and it's mixed company 
or if it's plural period, you say bravi with an I on the end. That is plural. There are some exceptions, but those are the general rules where language is concerned. Moving on, we are in, let's see, I gave you everything for look three. I did, I did. We are headed down the final stretch with look number four, which happened to be, I think, probably besides look number one, my favorite. Number four, because we did this cute little schoolgirl thing with shorts. So we started with shorts, as you can see. And these are just some Zada shorts. They're not just Zada shorts. They actually go to a pink suit that I have. So I have a double-breasted pink short suit that uh, this is, uh, is the, the mate to, right? But I didn't go with the blazer, the double-breasted blazer for this because you know Zada currently has a, a pair of pink shorts, uh, two pairs of pink shorts that they're currently offering right now, which I will link for you. It's more like a skort. But I was like, I already have some of those. I've had this suit about 10 years from Zada. I purchased it again abroad. Um, but yeah, everything is cyclical. Everything comes back around. So again, look number four. This was our base with these Zada shorts. And then I went with this Zada mesh, almost metallic top, right? Let me move the, sh the shorts there, completely see-through. And I actually just wore a stunning, beautiful bra, which I'm wearing under this top here, this H&M top here. And I don't mind letting lingerie show. As long as it's tasteful, it's done well, and it's not vulgar, I think that wearing lingerie that is seeable, that is, you know, obvious, obvious to the, the, the eye, I think it's sexy. And I say, why not? Again, as long as it's being done tastefully. But I did a beautiful bralette under a pink um, floral, not floral in terms of the pattern is floral, a bralette under this see-through top. Tucked it in on one side on the shorts here. And I covered it all with this beautiful Zara. Ah, look at this metallic gold blazer. Zara currently has this blazer uh, in this metallic gold, but they also are offering it in a darker gold, which I will also link for you in the description um, so that you can check either color out because sometimes you might want to go a little bit darker. Again, hues of uh, another color of that color. So yes, isn't it beautiful? This two button single breasted blazer straight down the back there is no venting in the back right but how rich is this how rich is this this screams luxury like you're going now the thing that i love about this blazer is you can dress it up or you can dress it down you can do that with pretty much any blazer but because of the metallic sheen and feature of this video of this um blazer it just does it for me right just beautiful now, what did I do to accentuate this look? Again, I told you I went kind of schoolgirl-ish on this look. What made it so are the socks. Yes, I went with these beautiful little see-through. Look at these. Look at that. With stars, they have gold metallic stars on them. How beautiful is that? Again, I purchased these at Amazon. I will link them for you. Just beautiful against the backdrop of this Steve Madden heel with this little bow that kicks out the side there that screams, I'm getting ready to take off, right? I'm flying. How beautiful are these? I've had these Steve Maddens about, again, 10, 11 years or so, all leather. Super easy to walk in. But again, accentuated with these beautiful little see-through mesh socks adorned with these metallic stars, gold stars, metallic gold stars. Just beautiful, just beautiful. That goes incredibly well with the mesh top, right? Look at that. Now, come on, when you see these colors, don't they make you feel something? I get excited about pink. I really do. Besides black, I think pink is my next favorite color. 
It really is. It just is um, great. Pink and black are great juxtapositions of my personality. Um, I love the moodiness and the darkness of black because everything that comes to light is comes to light by way of the darkness. Um, that is how I feel about black. You can't say anything bad to me about black. Everything that means something that is born into this world comes by way of the night, by darkness, love making, babies. Don't get me started. Okay, that's that's black. Black does that for me, but equally so, pink does it for me as well. It does. It just soothes um, the softer side of me. Again, it just makes me calm. It relaxes me. Again, serenity is the word that comes to mind when I think of pink. So I hope you like this look as much as I love styling it for you. Again, we went with like this little schoolgirl look with the little see-through mesh socks here, uh, along with the mesh top, the long sleeve Zara top. Actually, that entire look was all Zara. And I think I forgot to tell you that this pajama set, I don't remember where I bought it some from the lounge set. And there is no, there is a tag in here, but the, um, it doesn't say the actual name of the, the, the designer. And I actually purchased it about 12 years ago. It is someplace abroad, but I don't remember where. I haven't a clue where. So please forgive me for not knowing the name of the designer of the loungewear. But again, the car coat was from H&M. Again, I had it, I've had this car coat about, I would say about 15, 16 years. Yeah, made incredibly well. Again, from a period where things were still being made with care and great craftsmanship and construction. So there you have it. Those were our four looks today, all in these stunning, again, visceral shades of pink and gold. So chime in below. Tell me which look was your favorite. If indeed you like pink and gold, I'd be hard pressed to find someone in these in my viewing audience that doesn't like pink and gold or pink or gold. So you let me know how you felt about this episode and the looks that we styled for you. But in the interim, don't forget to head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Suits Souls by EPP. And if you're not already doing so, please subscribe. Please hit that like and subscribe button for notifications on all new episodes. But until we meet again, a bientôt, muses. Bye.